The 2022 NAIA Division Stunt National Championship is here, and we are Vanguard Athletics are really excited because the Vanguard Lions are the number one seed in the tournament that kicks off on Friday, played over this Friday and Saturday, up in Rockland at William Jessup. Justin Bird is here, one of the SIDs here at Vanguard, and I'll be interviewing Coach Allen here in a minute, talking to her about how the season has progressed, what are her thoughts and feelings going into the tournament, and how the Lions stack up to a pretty good field. Then Jenna Howard will take over, and she'll be interviewing four athletes from the Vanguard stunt team, going a little more in depth about how the sport works, how the different positions are, and how everyone's feeling going into the tournament. Welcome everyone, it is time for the 2022 Stunt in AI Division National Championship, and the Vanguard is once again in the field there, the number one seed, and joining us here today is head coach Leslie Allen. Coach, you got your team back to the National Championship, it feels like just yesterday you were kicking off the season up at Concordia with a scrimmage and then the regular season opener. Yes. What's the journey been like this year getting the team up here to Rockland? Well, it's been a great season. Uh, we've been able to have a full season for the first time in, what, two and a half years? So um, that's been an exciting you know, process, playing um, 14, 15 games this season, and um, just increasing our uh, consistency uh, with every, uh, every game we play, and expanding our um, skill level to um, the elite levels that um, we have first year we we've been competitive in um, almost all the levels that uh, we have in stunt and um, just just really getting um, a full season with you know our team and bonding and um, just having a lot of fun. What's kind of been your thoughts as the season has gone along? You obviously got to play, um, you got to host Alma, one of the original teams that came out here. You got to go back out to face Missouri Baptist in Oklahoma City at their tournament and kind of the change from the early part of the season till now. Okay. Yeah, that was. those are some of our highlights, I think, this year. Um, being able to play against Alma um, from Michigan and having them come out. They were uh, wonderful um, opponents and um, a lot of fun to play. We gave them a really great game, and we were super excited about that. Um, they're, they're just uh, such a, um, I think, a fixture. Um, they've defined what the sport is all about, and just getting a chance to face off with them and interact with them afterwards. Um, I have a lot of respect for uh, their coach and their program. And then the opportunity to travel. Um, during the season and go back um, and kind of get into another um, like environment was huge I think for us this year being able to take um, you know our team to a different region and play the schools that um, we don't traditionally get to play throughout the season I think that was a really big part of our um, you know some of our success this year Coming towards the end of the season, then picked up a lot of wins. Obviously, some confidence is high, but it is a national tournament, which means anything can happen. So what do you have to do to get this team prepared going up to the tournament here at the end of the week? Great question. We've done a lot of, I think, working on our um, mental game, stunt, and all sports. You know, there's such a big mental um, piece to that, the competitiveness in being able to play our game regardless of what's going on on the other side, you know, of the, the mat or the court or whatever, you, you know, whatever sport it is. Um, being confident and trusting each other and um, just, you know, getting out there and being uh, playing to win. Um, we had the opportunity to have Coach Davis come in and talk with us a little bit about, you know, defending the national um, championship and what all of that means. You know, we have felt, I think, that uh, people come after us, you know, all, all year long. And so I do believe we've developed some toughness in that, some mental toughness. Um, these young ladies are amazing. They're physically strong and uh, they're mentally tough. Um, going into the tournament this weekend, um, we've talked about having that, instead of looking at it as a target on our back, looking at it as a badge of honor that we have earned. And we're excited to to walk into the gym up there in Jessup and um, in front of their home crowd and you know, looking at everybody cheering, they're gonna be cheering for us. 
so we're excited to to get that opportunity. You know, the fun thing is it's not, it is competitive, but it's not like it's a physical sport or anything. So you can't kind of enjoy both sides, even though you're rooting for us, obviously. Some familiar foes, obviously, William Jessup is there, Hope International, Missouri Baptist in Oklahoma City. Any thoughts or preview for the opponents up there? You are the one seed, so you get a bye before you then get playing up there on Friday. Everything mostly will be done on Friday before you're heading to Saturday. Right, right. We have had the opportunity to play everybody already once or twice. Um, so for us, uh, doing our homework, knowing that um, these teams are, you know, they've improved as well, and um, doing what we know uh, we need to do, um, going to our strengths. Um, uh, some of the strategy of stunt is being able to control the game. So coming out strong in uh, quarter one with partner stunts, we've been really kind of trying to focus on that a little bit. And then um, getting into pyramids um, and basket tosses and just being super uh, strong in that area, very consistent working on heights of our baskets. And then um, jumps and tumblers, uh, quarter three, uh, we've been really working on their consistency, the height of their uh, tumbling. It's just such a cool you know, sport all around. Um, and then, you know, being in control in uh, quarter four. That's, that's pretty much the strategy of stunt, and uh, that's our strategy as well. And hopefully it leads to a bunch of victories up there, right? Well, we, we are going to play play hard. We're going to play to win. Final question then, and it's an open one for you. Anything you want to say to the fans, the parents out there who have been watching all year? I know some will be able to make the road trip up north. Some will not be. But anything you want to say and tell them before you truck on up there? Yes, um, that's great. I appreciate that opportunity. I just want to say we are so thankful for everyone's support. It's been... Um, awesome being able to have you know fans uh, in the stands this year it was kind of strange last year when we would go into a gym and it's just us and the other team and nobody's there and it was kind of like okay this is a game but you know there's a, such a big part that was missing so having that back and um, just enjoying that and getting to see them and reacting and and you know playing playing a part, a big part of the um, emotion and the atmosphere and the adrenaline, I think has been great. We just, we just looking for, hey, if you're, if you're up in that area, come out, um, support us. We, we are in um, uh, the territory of the other team, so we would love that support. And uh, we just are thankful for all the prayers and um, well wishes. Well, thanks, Coach. It's been a fun season, and we hope to see you back here bearing another trophy. You're going to get a couple of your girls up here and continue on with our preview. Hi, I'm Peyton Smith. I'm a freshman, and my position is a tumbler, and I fly sometimes in baskets and pyramids. Okay, going into Nationals, this is your first year at Vanguard. How has it been being with such a competitive team throughout the season, and how has the chemistry been with the team? I think that it's been really inspiring. Because obviously when you're around a group of girls that all have good work ethic, you want to push yourself to be the best that you can be. Um, coming in fresh and new, especially to start in general, it's a big change, but they have this chemistry that pulls you in and they're very welcoming. And they've explained the sport very well to me and they've um, just kind of taken their hand with me and just really guided me through all the new things. And I really do appreciate their kindness. That's awesome. Can you explain how a typical stunt match works and what happens in each quarter? Um, so basically there's four quarters to the game and in the first quarter um, you have partner stunts and that's just like three or two groups doing different stunts together and they'll do whatever, they'll call whatever number on each side after they flip the coin and then that goes for four rounds and then you go to quarter two which is pyramids and baskets. And that's pretty similar, except there'll be 16 girls in the mat, and we'll do different pyramids depending on who has possession and who calls. And then when you get to quarter three, which is what I usually play in most of the game, is all tumbling, and that's only seven of us on the mat. And the seven girls, we get out there and we do all these different tumbling routines, and we have to stick everything in order to get the point. And then 
when you go into quarter four, everyone pretty much hits the mat at some point, and that's when you combine the first three quarters into one singular routine. And then it will be um, partner stunts, tumbling, and baskets all in into one. And as a tumbler, how do you deal with the pressure of having to stick it every single time? As a tumbler, it's very stressful sometimes, at times, especially because your job is pretty much to help pick up pieces in the game because you're not you're not on the mat as much. So um, in a game, I have the chance to get around seven points, and so every little thing matters, like moving your foot, moving your arm on the run count. There's these things called minors and they ding off, and so if a game's going like not the best in the first half, we can really help pick it up so that way they can um, have a good chance in quarter four. Okay, and last question. Going into your first nationals, how are you feeling as a freshman, and how are like the other freshmen on the team dealing with it as well? I'm more excited than nervous. I think it's gonna be a good experience, especially like just for the first time, especially going in in first is going to be a little bit stressful. I think it's more about um, being able to hold your own with the other girls that have run this position on the mat. And I just want to do really good for them so that they can keep their time. Yes, so my name is Dakota Pittenger. Um, I am a back spot, so basically what I do is I kind of help support the stunt group. I, I hold the ankles in the back, <laughs> just the tall girl in the back, I guess. Um, <laughs> And then I am a senior this year, so my last year going into everything. Being a senior and having gone to the national championships last year, what experience from that is helping you currently with your journey right now? I think last year the biggest thing that we did is just like had fun with everything and we really took time to like bond with one another at nationals and like through our experiences and everything. So I think going out there, the biggest thing for us is just competing against ourselves and really just being our best selves out there on the mat. And going into your last season, what is some advice you'd want to give your freshman self or your team going into next season? I would say just have fun and really just take in every moment that you have on and off the mat and just really take in the time that you have with like the girls on the mat because those memories and the connections that you have are really strong and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but, um, um, really just enjoy the time that you have with everyone because it does go by really fast. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! I'm gonna cry! Um, my name is Grayson Young. I am a sophomore and I am a main base. And as a main base, I uh, toss and catch on the ground at the bottom. So, yeah. And how has this year been as a sophomore? You came in during COVID. How's the whole experience been this year and how's it different compared to what you came into? Um, this year and last year are very different. I feel like last year we had a lot of obstacles that um, kept us a little further as a team and a little further as like a program. And we had to work through that. And it was very difficult in the beginning, especially because we had a lot of strong personalities, but we really got through it. And um, I think that's what helped us win a national title. And this year we came in with that mindset of like, let's start from where we learned last year. And I feel like as we went like uh, along the year, it really helped us out into potentially winning another national title. How is the chemistry different? This year you have a much younger team. How is it different from last year and the dynamic with the team? Um, I really think that it teaches us uh, as a team, like patience and um, guidance sort of thing. We're all like learning together and we make sure that we take our weakest link and we all grow as a team. Uh, we have a lot of freshmen this year and we really utilize like um, them and like learning and um, them being like new to the sport as like an advantage. We teach them like the Vanguard way and um, <laughs> we really just make it happen. As a leader on the team, what are some of the main focuses going into nationals? As a leader and um, having a fresh team, we really just think about um, going 110 every time for your teammates. Uh, you know that if you come and you do your job, you can trust that another person on the mat is coming and giving 110 and doing their job. And that's really what it's going to take to really go out there and win and have a good program. My name is Holly Stock. Um, I am a senior. 
Um, and then my position is I'm a secondary base. I'm also a mid, which is like the middle layer of a pyramid. And then I do a little bit of jumps and tumbling every once in a while. So. <laughs> So this being Vanguard's third national championship in five years, how is the pressure and dealing with the team dynamic? Yeah, um, it's crazy to think that it's our third national championship. My freshman year, I know it was really weird for us going into the national championship because we were against teams that had been doing this for years. So it was crazy to even think that in our second year as a program, we were at the national championship. Um, but it was really cool. Um, we learned a lot. I think going into it, we did not have confidence, and I think that definitely hurt us in the end. But it showed us that next year and the years to follow, we were able to kind of get that confidence and learn a lot about the sport. Um, going into last year when we won the national championship, I remember we all just kind of had that mindset of let's just go out there and do what we do best. And it actually ended up winning and working. So, I mean, that's cool. Um, this year, I think we definitely need to get back to that mindset of doing what we know. I think sometimes it's easy for a lot of the freshmen and a lot of the younger girls or girls who have never done this sport to fall into that mindset of, oh, I need to try extra hard because it's the game situation, you know. But in our sport, we have to trust our abilities and our, um, I guess, just muscle memory um, to just go out there and do what we know. So, okay. <laughs> How does it feel from freshman year to now to look back on all your other seasons and see how the sport has grown at Vanguard and just in general? It's so cool. Um, I did not do stunt in high school, so to come into this fresh as a freshman, it was really crazy. Um, you had to learn a lot really fast. Um, I remember just kind of being confused at literally everything, like I had no clue what was going on. but. It was really fun, you know, to learn something new and then now to see the sport grow and to see so many other schools that do are starting stunt teams and like the competition's gonna get even more tough and it's cool to say that we are one of the beginning ones that came out in like California and the West Coast and it's just so cool, you know, like we do have that history and to say that I was a part of one of the first teams to ever start stunt at a college level is amazing and it's so cool. I'm gonna have that memory forever, so it's really cool. <laughs> and last question, what experience from then was you, actually let me reword that. Um, <laughs> what have you learned over your four years that you feel is the most beneficial thing to pass down to your other teammates? I think the mindset of determination and willing to push through no matter what life throws at you. I think clearly we all went through something crazy with COVID and you know being online and not being able to actually like be together um, and just moving past that and being able to win at nationals last year with all of that going down um, it really helped us kind of just I mean for me it just showed me that like no matter what you go through if you have that mindset of wanting to push through wanting that wanting something so bad that you're willing to do anything um, it's just great and like you can apply that to any aspect of your life college isn't just the only place for that um, I think like in the workplace everything like you have to have that determination to just be able to push through no matter what so that's probably the biggest thing cool. yeah, thank you no problem <laughs> thanks to coach Allen and the four girls from stunt for coming over and doing that interview with us that was really cool and we are wishing you the best of luck in the tournament that kicks off Friday the Lions against one seed will play at four o'clock on Friday they'll take on the winner of Missouri Baptist and Hope International. If they can win three in a row, they will be national champions. If they do lose, there is a consolation bracket for them to go back through. If they defeat whoever comes out of that first game, they will then take on the winner of William Jessup and Oklahoma City. So stay tuned to VanguardAthletics.com, our Instagram and Twitter at VU Lions. To make sure you follow and keep updated, you can also find the watch links for William Jessup's live stream on the stunt schedule at VanguardLions.com. Thanks so much. Go Lions, and let's hope we bring back another national championship.